Iran has approached Pakistan to buy the locally assembled Chinese JF-17 Block 3 fighter jet. The Indian Army has successfully conducted an anti-tank grid exercise, to validate the deployment of light strike vehicle-based anti-tank mobile teams. Both the German Chancellor and Spanish Prime Minister will make back-to-back -back visits to India later this month, and will lobby for the Project 75 ideal. Saab North America has received a subpoena from the U.S. Department of Justice, concerning Brazil's acquisition of 36 Gripen-E fighter jets worth $5.4 billion in 2014, in which it defeated Boeing's F-18 Super Hornet. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh has dedicated 75 projects worth 2,236 crore rupees to the country, including roads and bridges along the entire stretch of LAC. After Indian Army's rapid induction of loitering munitions, Chinese engineers have installed new armor grills on the ZTQ-15 light tanks. Hindustan Aeronautics and Edgewood Technologies Private Limited has established a joint venture firm Hal Edgewood Technologies Private Limited, to develop cutting-edge mission computers for military aircraft. The Indian Army Chief has officially launched Agni Astra Portable Multi-Target Detonation Device that was developed by Indian Army's Corps of Engineers for both conventional and counter-terror operations. Seacon Engineering has launched the 6th Missile Com Ammunition Barge for the Indian Navy. A senior Indian Air Force official has said, that the Air Force has expressed a preference for private sector companies to be involved in the production of the fighter jet chosen in the upcoming 114 MRFA tender. The official cited that Hindustan Aeronautics has a full workload, that includes HTT-40 trainers, 83 Tejas Mark 1A and 97 more follow-on units, along with 120 Tejas Mark II program and AMCA program, and this significant workload suggests that HAL might not have the capacity to manage MRFA production effectively. The shift towards private sector involvement will lead to faster production timelines, and potentially even more competitive bids from foreign companies seeking Indian partnerships. As per latest information, India's Project 77 that recently received CCS approval for the construction of two nuclear-powered attack submarines, will now have a displacement of 10,000 tons, that is significantly larger than previously speculated figures of 6,000 tons, which suggests enhanced capabilities in terms of endurance and firepower, including six nearby subsonic cruise missiles and BrahMos 2K hypersonic missile. The increased displacement of India's nuclear attack submarines places them in the same league as the American Virginia-class submarines, and 40% larger than China's Type 93 Shang-class submarines. The Indian Army has initiated a strategic move to acquire a cutting-edge loitering munition, that can be launched from barrels of Grad Smirch and Pinnacle system. The multi-barrel loiter munition system will be capable of launching 10 or more loiter munitions in salvo mode, and this integration will ensure saturation strikes on enemy targets. The Indian Army has released a request for information for the procurement of 1,500 new generation anti-tank guided missile launchers, and the accompanying missile count could reach a staggering 20,000 missiles. It must be capable of performing in all operational trains, and must have a 60% indigenous content, and the order is reserved for Indian vendors who have developed the products domestically. Today's Top 3 Comments